What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Mindac Outdoors. This weekend I'm doing something a little different. Got some rain in this weekend, so I'm gonna spend some time inside preparing some fish for something I just bought. An electric smoker, guys. I just bought this smoker. Uh, it actually just arrived today, a couple hours ago. I went outside, picked it up, and started unpackaging a little bit, but I'm gonna smoke some fish this weekend. Those salmon that we caught back in June. Boys, look at that fish. Get some close-ups of that one, Braden. Oh my goodness. What a freaking fish. I had them uh, vacuum sealed in the freezer and all ready to go for when I decided to do this. So this is my first time using this smoker. So I'm gonna kind of walk through the basics. Tried a couple different recipes that I haven't tried before. And we're gonna see how they work out, guys. So if you want to learn how to smoke some fish, this is gonna be an episode that you're not gonna wanna miss. So stay tuned. So this is the filet I got here. Uh, this is the other side of that one. And basically I'm just taking my filet knife, taking a pretty good sized chunk, snack sized chunk off, just uh, cutting it. Just like that, putting it in the pan. There again, I'll pull those bones out after I get this all cut up. I'm gonna cut another slice, another snack sized slice here. That one in there, and this one right there. So there's another cut up filet. Just gonna wash everything up a little bit here. All right, guys, once you get your salmon perfectly prepped, you're ready to make your brine. So, what, uh, that was close. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix a um, quarter cup of salt here. Just put a little extra in there, brown sugar. Some brown sugar here. I'm gonna put about four cups of water in here. No. Okay, we'll, I'm gonna put a little extra in just because I did add a little extra salt and a little extra brown sugar. And I'm gonna add a little Cajun spice to this one just to kind of give it a little more spice. Um, the other one I'm just gonna make plain brown sugar and salt. Get all the juice mixed up. Like I said, I am going to add a little bit of Cajun seasoning to this. This is going to give it a really good spice Cajun to it. Once you get that added, you're going to want to stir this all up. Get it really, really well mixed. Give it a good sniff. Once you get everything dissolved, you're good to add this to your pan. So I'm going to pour this over top of the salmon. Make sure we get it evenly spread. You can see those Cajun flakes just sticking to the salmon already. It's going to be really good. And there you have it. That fish is going to brine for about eight hours. And uh, we're going to come back to it after about eight hours. We're going to take these pieces out. We're going to let them dry maybe one to two hours. And then we're going to get them in the smoker. And uh, I can taste it already. It's going to be great. It's been a day since we got the salmon put into the fridge. Um, I, took them out th I took them out of the brine this morning and let them sit for about two to three hours so they could kind of dry off a little bit. And I just put them into the smoker and I'm gonna just show you this real quick because I don't want to lose too much heat, but. Layered them in here, I got my Cajun up on top and then I got the, the normal brown sugar and salt on the bottom. So basically I'm just gonna put the cap back on here and I'm gonna make sure my temperature is about 150, which it's perfectly at 150. I'm gonna let these fish smoke for a couple hours and I'm gonna come out and check on them and see how they look. Oh, wow guys, that got absolutely crazy. We had some pretty significant weather come in right as I was about to take that salmon off the smoker. So I didn't 
get any time to record it, but I did get the salmon off quickly and it literally started raining like seconds after I put the smoker away and got it all cleaned up. So I'm sorry I didn't get to record that, but it poured. So the salmon turned out great. I don't know, you guys saw as I was cooking it, I waited for it to get a little crisp and brown on the outside. Um, you basically want it to be like that crispy brown color on the outside and then the inside is just perfect. Um, there was perfect moisture in that salmon. It tasted great. There wasn't too much smoke flavoring to it and it had the perfect sweetness. All in all, it was a great catch and cook. I know I caught the fish back in June, but it was finally nice to smoke up and eat. And like I said, it tasted phenomenal. So if you ever get a chance, guys, to smoke up some salmon, I highly suggest it. It's a very good idea. And there's a lot of people that like it. So look forward to some awesome hunting videos to come here in the near future. Also, guys, if you want any of this duck's sweet duck's apparel, I'm going to put a link down in the description where you can cop some of this awesome merch. Thank you so much for watching this Catch and Cook video. If you guys liked it and you want to see more videos like this, obviously put together a little better than I had it put together uh, without the storms and all the jazz that we had. If you like these recipe videos, please let me know and I will, uh, I'll show you some other ways that I prepare my salmon or really any fish I catch or even goose, elk, deer, anything. So guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace.